Hello, this is Dead Hamster. Today we're going to be comparing the two different AI types present in Mario Kart 64. All of us are familiar with the standard AI that we play against in Grand Prix mode. However, there is a second type that you see alongside every race that you may not think about. In the beginning of the game, in the introduction screen, as well as in the victory screen after every race, as well as the credit sequence at the end of the game, there is a, uh, a, a different AI that is running than is traditionally running during the game's uh, uh, Grand Prix mode. In Grand Prix mode, when you're running, the AI are using rubber banding to keep up with the player, but also to not go too far ahead of the player and to make sure that there is a, um, a competitive advantage. There's actually a patent that Nintendo filed regarding this, calling a, a, it a rival system, where there will be a, a, a certain other player in the game, Donkey Kong, Wario, whoever it is, that stays right next to you and uh, doesn't go too far ahead, doesn't go too far behind, and again, uses a rubber band system to, to make for a competitive game play. When this is turned off, as you've seen in the previous uh, video, the, the AI is actually much better at staying ahead of the, um, the player. But the question is, can the rubber band AI keep up with the regular AI? Now the rubber band AI is usually, we believe, kind of pulling itself back to, to keep the player within a, um, a respectable range and to give them a, you know, a chance of keeping up. But what happens when the rubber band AI is going against regular AI? And we're going to figure that out today. You can actually set the AI states of all the players in the game. And so that's what we're going to do. We, uh... Oh. Do that real quick. No, no, no. It's a problem with having all these controllers plugged in at once as they, uh, they all interfere with each other. There we are. And plug it back in. So, the AI that are going to be using the traditional uh, rubber band style will be Luigi and Toad. The AI that will be using the demo AI will be Mario and Peach. So again, Mario and Peach on the left screens will be using the demo AI, the new AI, and Luigi and Toad using the traditional rubber band AI will be on the right half of the screen. We'll be, uh... Using player three, it looks like, to... So, to start off, we're going to go with Luigi's uh, Raceway, and I'm going to actually sign out here and uh, cut off the mic, and let the game play, and we'll catch back up at the end and recap. Uh, one thing I will note, the, uh, the AI, the standard AI, the ones on the right hand of the screen, will not be properly tracking their wins and losses. So on the results screen, that will not be accurate, we'll have to keep a running total of which uh, AI is doing better. But for now, let's get started on Luigi's Wasteway, and I will uh, come back in when we're all wrapped up. Until then, enjoy. Okay.
Oh, Mario, you dog. The come from behind victory, stealing it from Luigi. So, in this instance, we can uh, definitely say that the left side won, but I don't know if that's, uh, if that's more luck in the case of Mario or what. Um, Toad, clearly, not, uh, not doing what he's supposed to. So let's take a look at the next race, and we'll, uh, we'll pick another course and move, uh, move on from there. It's so disappointing when all four computers don't get the boost at the beginning of the race. Wow, so here we are seeing a clear advantage for the uh, traditional AI, or the demo AI rather, the uh, rubber banding ones. Very slow. Um, I think it's without having a human player, they don't have someone to adjust their speed to. I don't think that they are adjusting to keep track with the uh, the demo AI, and so they just run at their... Uh... I mean, look at Mario just freezing by Luigi. Now I'm... <laughs> Got his revenge, I suppose. Uh, these swamps are introducing a lot of a lot of random into this uh, this race, which might not. Uh... It's actually interesting to see how the two AI react to that as well, but maybe not the best course to uh, compare them. So coming up at the end here, it looks like for this one we have Luigi winning for the uh, the traditional AI, with second and third going to uh, to Mario and Peach for the demo AI. So we'll go ahead and uh, oh, we actually got versus rankings. I suppose this is because uh, the last player wasn't a. Uh, I don't know. Either way, it's fine. We're gonna just select a new course from here. Those are the rankings that will uh, will not be accurate. Okay. 
So we'll pick another course. I'm actually interested. I might have to quit out of this one early. I do not believe that the... Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to handle going over the jump. I don't believe that they can make it over the jump. So we'll see. But um, yeah, I think this might end before the first lap is over. Mario is hitting every single obstacle on his way to the, uh, the end of this race. Mario catching up a lot of ground here. All those stars and lightnings. So here comes the moment of truth. Peach, perfectly fine. Luigi, Toad, no problem. So it looks like we will have a full race. We'll, uh, we'll have to continue and see how it pans out. What I'm finding interesting is that uh, not one of the AI seem to really be doing better than the other. Each course, you know, one of them does okay, one of them does all right, uh, and then another course, another one does fine. It's uh, they're, they're definitely much more balanced than I originally appeared to be. I don't know again if that's the rubber band AI keeping up with the um, the new ones. I, I really uh, I, I can't say for sure without having a human in the mix. And putting a human into the mix would, uh, would of course, change everything. But it's interesting still to watch and compare. We'll have to run a lot of races and uh, get a good sample size to see what we're, uh, we're dealing with. Toad making up for all those losses. First place, strong. Just like that, Toad is behind. Thankfully, he can just uh, make his cart go faster.
So that right there seems like a pretty clear-cut example of the rubber banding in action. Um, fell behind rather clearly. Um, then suddenly his cart just has a faster top speed and was able to, uh, to overtake Peach. Part of that, of course, is Peach not, uh, not being a real person, but even then, you can definitely see the, uh, the rubber banding immediately take over and take, uh, take place. Very interesting. What I definitely will note right there is that the people on the left take off. And the rubber banders, they have to catch back up. This is one of the courses I'd feel we'd see the, uh, the least impact of items and um, you know, random occurrences. Outside of the train and the items that they will get, uh, there really isn't as much to impact besides just the driving itself. So I'm hoping that uh, we get a real clear-cut definition on this track and we see one winner uh, come out pretty far ahead. So this, uh, this has solidified for me that there is definitely an advantage of the, uh, the non-rubber banding AI. It seems that the, uh, the rubber banding was definitely put in to, uh, to make the game a little bit more playable, a little bit more uh, competitive, because otherwise the, uh, the AI is, is rather good at racing. It doesn't make mistakes, it doesn't crash, it just, uh, well it does crash, but crashes quite a bit actually, but they seem to uh, to go fast and make it difficult to uh, to keep up with them. What I'm thinking we're going to do for the next race is I'm actually going to take the place of Mario and drive around the course. We're going to have Luigi be the, uh, the other player who's just going to sit at the home line and do nothing. And then Peach and Toad will uh, remain as AI characters. Peach will stay as the demo AI. Toad will turn into the, uh, will still again remain as the computer AI, and we'll see if that impacts anything. Having a player driving around the course, having a player sitting at the starting line doing absolutely nothing, um, you know, will that change how the AI act, and will they uh, perform any differently because of it? We'll see now.
Okay, all set now. We'll go ahead and choose uh, something that, again, won't be too complex. This seems like a, uh, you know what, even more ideal level. So again, me and Luigi are going to be human controlled, so Luigi won't move. I'm going to go ahead and not get that boost, and we'll see how uh, Toad and Peach do. Toad is not looking good. Standard AI just sitting in the back, third place in it. Peach staying much more competitive. That really uh, puts the nail in the coffin for me. I couldn't. Uh, not the Peach is doing good by any means, but. So, closing out the last lap here, um, almost lapping Toad. So, something tells me that um, perhaps the AI isn't even actually running in its rubber band state. Means that Toad has a star, and I passed him to finish the race. So, what I'm going to try now is uh, something, again, a little bit different. Also, a little bit fun here with the cheats, uh, cheat codes I'm using. I still have control. So, I'm just going to run this backwards. Um, so I'm wondering if, by going into Grand Prix mode, um, would that change anything? That's what we're going to try, so... We're going to place half of them as demos, the other half as computers. And we're going to see if it has, uh, any impact on the way that they, uh, they go about. If anyone in particular does better than anyone else. It'll be kind of tricky to figure out who's who. We're going to have to start right in the beginning, but uh, it's only going to be three CPUs. I don't think it'll be too, too uh, difficult to figure out. So I believe it's going to be Bowser, Wario, and Luigi who are going to be my, uh, no, normal computers. <laughs> that definitely seems to be the case, because they are way back there. I'm going to try to keep in first here.
right, it looks like we're gonna take this one, barring any <laughs> barring any unforeseen circumstances like Donkey Kong. Oh goodness, that could have went poorly. Now we had said Bowser, Wario, and Luigi. And look at that. Bowser, Wario, and Luigi in 5th, 7th, and 8th place. Absolutely dreadful. I think it is uh, pretty obvious. Got to drive around in my trophy mode real quick. Um, very obvious that the AI that used demo mode uh, seem to have a pretty clear-cut advantage over the ones that are using the traditional AI. seems to be doing all right for this one. Although, I don't know if it changed the, uh, the ID of the other characters. Now it might be three other ones who are doing that. In fact, I bet it did, because Wario's number five, and the fifth one is a demo. So now Wario's gonna be fine. It would be Bowser, Toad... No, Toad's fine too, though. Hmm. Regardless, I think the, uh, the results we saw before and that we're seeing now definitely uh, speak for themselves. The, uh, the demo AI without the rubber band uh, seem to have quite a distinct advantage over their, uh, their non-rubber band counterparts to the point where I can barely catch up to these people with stars. Stars and lightnings. I'm still not in first. Donkey Kong taken off. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed and appreciate the uh, informative bit here. Some unusual things that you normally wouldn't see from Mario Kart. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, a uh, link will be popping up for subscribing. Uh, the official Overcart channel has all sorts of things for uh, Mario Kart modding. Uh, please feel free to subscribe if you want to be uh, kept up on the progress. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.